The X stands for extreme. Oh uh, yeah, I'm ready to hunt some mavericks and reploids. Yeah, let's fuck up Sigma and Sigma. Sigma. And this other guy who's actually Sigma is and she, are we, he's not even on, there's not even a little bit of Sigma there. That's, no, that's okay, that's still that's Sigma. That's still Sigma, and we're not even at the X2 collection. This is Mega Man X Collection. Uh, I am playing it on the Nintendo Switch. It is available on many a platform. This is the first collection. It features X, X2, X3, and X4. Okay. And part two features X5 through X8. Hey. Yes. Mega Man X is a pretty good game. I agree. I like most of the Mega Man X games. Yeah. What's your favorite? Mine's uh, uh, snowboarding. Uh, I, I like a good vert ramp. Mm. Yeah. What's the difference between a vert ramp and a normal ramp? A ramp kind of launches you off at, I want to say, a 45 degree angle, while a vert, you're just going like up and down. It's okay. like a, a, a half pipe. It's like a half pipe. Yeah. Uh, where am I putt? There we go. Uh, yeah, so uh, Capcom released the. Oh, I didn't pull in my save. Oh, this song is so good. This is one of the best Mega Man songs. Uh, Capcom put out the Mega Man collection earlier uh, last year, I want to say, maybe two years ago. Uh, that featured the original 10, or not original, but Mega Man 1 through 10. Yes. Uh, and this is a similar treatment. So, you know, it's just while we're in here, hop into the options, Ooh. check out what they've added. They've added this thing called Rookie Hunter Mode, which uh, makes the game easier. So far, uh, in my testing, that is you take less damage. Okay. Uh, you got a manual for the, for the game, adjustable screen sizes. You can get that nice stretch going if you really are a madman. It's healthy to do, to do some stretching. Uh, I, oof, bummer here where you either get a little bit, a lot, or none. Mm. Um, why am I on type two? I like type one. The wallpaper is a little bit of a bummer because in the, in the other games they've had four different ones for each game. Uh huh. Uh, this one you just get one for each game, but you can play it on any game. Okay. Um, and then there's some other things that we'll we'll check out in a minute. But first, I gotta get through this first level. Okay. I've always enjoyed the look of the uh, future world presented in the uh, Mega Man X universe. Yeah, I want to know what it's like to live in that tower back there. I wonder what the property value is like, especially if this stuff is constantly going on. Yeah. Also, it doesn't look like there's a lot of, like, normal buildings. It's either nothing or these huge towers. Oh, hell yeah. You grabbed one of your heads there. One of the best feelings in the world is getting the random drop of an extra life in a Mega Man game. Ooh, indeed. Uh, also, this game does not have auto-fire, which hmm. the other games, the other collections did. You can just hit, hold X, uh, and it would shoot as quickly as possible. Um, that might have something to do with these later X games having, uh, using all four face buttons. Yes. Also accounting for a, uh, different character. Oh, yeah. You don't want to, don't want to spoil it. <laughs> I have, uh, zero interest on spoiling anything about Mega Man X. Uh, um, Saber. That guy just drove off the road. Yeah, he's just like, oh, shit. So Mega Man X and Mega Man, same universe, correct? Just yes. different time periods? It is after the death of Dr. Light that okay. Mega Man X It drove him to get extreme. For. Yeah, and I guess Wily is not really in the picture either anymore. Okay. Um, yeah, it's all... Uh, X and Sigma, God, the charge shot sound. It can be a little annoying. Yeah, are you uh, incredibly the, practical. the Mega Man player that it will, is constantly holding a charge? Oh, you better. You better believe it. I mean, you've got to be ready for 
to release on a dime. Exactly. If you're gonna release on anything, release on a dime. This car just stopped. Messed up that car. This is one of the worst like, boss fights of a Mega Man game. You just have to wait ever. Still got more cars, huh? Here we go. I blew up enough cars, and now this guy's gonna come fuck me up. I forgot his name. Uh, Mega Man bosses are normally something they are, plus man at the end. Not an X. Yeah. Uh, and this guy. This guy, like, makes some repeat appearances. Oh, that's right. This guy has that shoulder cannon. Yeah. Is it poison or something? Sure. All right. This guy is poison. Bye. Can't win this fight. I don't know why I'm trying. That always bugged me uh, in Mega Man games where a boss battle was unbeatable. Yep. On purpose. And you just try so hard. Yeah. And you're like, oh, fuck me. I'm done. Whoa. Whoa. Oh my god, who's that guy? This guy is rad. He doesn't even have a sword. I guess I'm not powerful enough to defeat him. X, you shouldn't expect to defeat him. He is designed to be a... Y machine? Remember, you have to... You have not reached full power yet. If you use all the abilities you were designed with, you should become stronger. You should. You may even... I'll scout item. ahead and collect as much information on Sigma's fortress as I can. I'll meet up with you when you get there. See you later. Hang loose, bro. X. I, I didn't know there was voice acting in the, uh, the original Mexican Yeah, the, well, this is new to the collection. They added some really good voice acting. Uh, yeah, so, you know, Mega Man X. Let's, right. Let's uh, get back out. Okay. Look at, the superior, the best, arguably the best Mega Man game. Mega Man X2. It's it's definitely up there. Yeah. I'm just glad we get to hear that, and then we get to see the new cool Capcom intro in a little bit. This is bumping. Yeah, man. God, the Mega Man music. Capcom has created the greatest game music of all time. That's right, you need a password if you want to get past here. So I guess let's show the first level of this. Do you want me to look up a password? Uh, yeah, fucking let's, 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 uh, hey, this is our quick look. We can do whatever we want. Exactly. Get me, get me like the best one uh, while I show off the museum mode. So, uh, these games uh, often feature something like this, museum mode. Okay. And you've got boss galleries. You can read about, oh, here we are. Vile. Vile. Former Maverick Hunter of the 17th unit. Like zero, Vile. Okay, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. He broke loose during Sigma's uprising. It's cool. So I remember Sigma being the, uh, pretty much the antagonist for this whole X series, right? Yeah, I haven't played through all of them, uh, but honestly, it's mostly Sigma. And then, just how I was like, okay, it's Dr. Wily for a few, and then it's some guy pretending not to be Dr. Wily, and then it's some completely different guy who ends up being Dr. Wily. Right, right. Got a music player? Pretty good. Um, so I assume the second collection has X5 through X8? Correct. Okay. Oh, you want to look at some... They got Funkos on here or what? Oh, That's pretty close. The Nendroids. The Nendroids are good. Don't you dare compare them to Funkos. They just also had big heads. Yeah, but they actually look like the things and not a bastardized... Oh, that's pretty cool. That is pretty neat. Oh, yeah. 
Capture toys, cards. Wow, this is a lot of stuff. Um, an Damn. animated short story exploring the beginnings of Sigma's Rebellion. So they, there's an anime on here. You can just watch this anime. Oh, neat. I love when games have bonus anime. What a peaceful looking town. That looks nothing like the thing from Mega Man X. Well, that was... It looked like you were playing at night. Mm, this is during the day. You're right. Completely different. Arriving at drop point in 45 seconds. The voice acting in these games is maybe some of the worst I've ever heard. Once the target is in range. I like to remember it as endearing. Maybe not as bad as Mega Man 8. Yes. But not good, as we will hear soon. Okay, that's anime. You know what anime is. You're on this website. I was really invested. Uh, and trailers. Okay. All right, you got a good code? I got you a code. All right, let's... This game deserves better than the opening level, so... So do you want all armor, eight hearts, four sub-tanks, and first Maverick Hunter level, or all bosses defeated? Ooh. Uh, all bosses defeated. Oh, let's... Let me give you this code where it's beginning boss defeated. So okay. You can at least go to A level. All right, uh, one, five... Two, eight. Sounds like some Turtles in Time shit. Three, eight. Three, four. Uh, three, four. Five, one. Two, two. Eight, one. Oh, hey. yeah. Hell yeah. That's my boy right there. All right, let's, uh, oof, there's so many good ones to choose from. This is probably my favorite level, but definitely the most aggravated boss. Oh, so cool. Wheel Gator. Wheel Gator next time. Oh man, I don't have any cool power-ups. Give me such a lame password. Hey, we at least skipped the beginning level. Yeah. Now we're testing your Mega Man skills. Oh, they don't need testing. Uh, I should uh, play through those later X games because up until I started playing this, I believe I've played through 22 Mega Man games. Holy smokes. Well, there are a lot of Mega There's Man games. There's a lot of Mega Man games. You got 1 through 10. That's 10. Correct. About uh, to be 11. About to be 11. Uh, you've got... I, I played X through X3. Okay. Uh, Mega Man Soccer, which I'm counting. Yeah, totally. Battle Network 1, 2, and 3. And that franchise just ends at 3. Yep. Uh, Legends 1 and 2. And... The Zero game. Yeah, zero, two, and three. And then I'm sure there's maybe one or two more, but that sounds that sounds about around 22. Oh! Nice. I didn't actually jump, I hovered. My Mega Man skills do not need testing. Oh God, it's starting me back at the beginning of the level. All right, here we go. Just farm items here. Mind waiting while I like farm for extra lives? Nonsense. How's this uh, feeling? Feels good. Uh, I'm playing on the uh, docked Joy Cons. What is, what is the name of this? The dog head. The thing that looks like a dog's head that uh, put, you put your Joy Cons into. The Uniter. Yeah, the Great Uniter. I'm playing on a Great Uniter. Uh, kind of like a claw style, so I can hit A with my index finger. But, uh, cause you can't, that's one of the major bummers about this game. You cannot rebind the controls as far as I know. Okay. Maybe you can in the proper main menu. Sure, But sure. it's game specific, so I don't think you can, cause there's no option for it here. Okay. Uh, we'll look when we go back to change games. Nope. It's weird shaking going on. Yeah, because we're on like a... Airship. Yeah.
There we go. Fuck you, dude. Nice try, but fuck you. How I, tall would you, you say yeah. Mega Man is? Oh, man. He's about as tall as Dr. Light, so he's got to be around average human size, right? Right, because I want to get a scale for how tall that mech suit you were just in was. Oh, yeah. See, when you, when you asked that question, my gut was like, oh, three feet. <laughs> like, I picture him as being, you know, a little robot boy. But I guess he's a robot man. Right. He's a super fighting robot. Ha, <laughs> nice try. Oh man. Oh boy. The greatest innovation to the Mega Man franchise was letting you fuck up the shields of shielded enemies. Oh, I can't go in here because that's one of the secrets. So the, these games in the grand Mega Man tradition, if you're unfamiliar with the X games for whatever reason, started adding a lot more like things to do and secrets to find. There's pieces of armor to collect. Uh, there are these mavericks, wild mavericks that you can fight. They're on select levels at certain times. Uh, and each level has a secret door where you have to fight them. That was this levels. Yeah, I remember finding bits of armor for Mega Man and Zero. Yeah, I think that I, I actually have a very clear memory of the first time I found one. There's, it's the on the armor armadillo level. Uh, there's like a hole you're supposed to fall in, and if you ride the su like left side, you get uh, like the leg armor or something. And I, yes. I fell down there, and I panicked, and I was falling, falling, and I went through the wall, and it was just one of the biggest holy shit moments. Are you Googling how tall Mega Man is? Yes, I'm on a rampant search. I need to know. All right, wheel gator time. I can't tell if this is blood or sarcophagus juice. That's uh, probably mo uh, motor fluid. Mm, yeah. Or lube. Oh, fuck. He's lubing up his tires. Ooh. Uh, I hate this boss. Ow. I dashed. I swear I dashed. I saw you hit the bun. I blame the input lag from the TV. No. No. Oh boy. All right, one more try. All right, I have the science. Are you ready to learn how tall Mega Man X is? No. Okay. Well, but I need that to was know. a waste of my time. I'm not ready, but I need to know. Uh, well, first, Dr. Light is 4'9". Oh, he's a little boy. Yeah, he's a little guy. Big brain, big heart. Big hair. Big beard. Uh, and Mega Man X is 5'3". Holy shit, X is taller than Dr. Light? Yeah. What about regular Mega Man? I don't have that on this chart. Uh, how, who else do you have on that chart? I have Sigma. Guess how tall Sigma is. Seven foot six. Off by three inches. Seven nine. Yeah, he was uh, pursuing a role or a career in the NBA, but there was a uh, no Mavericks law passed after the disband disbarment of the that team. Right. The Mech Warriors. Who were actually all human. The Santa Monica Mech Warriors. Mm-hmm. It's very uncomfortable. Um, this is uncomfortable holding the charge and also trying to dash on this controller. I would say maybe uh, check out the PC version or the PS4 version, uh, unless you want to play this on the go, primarily. Uh, I should mention though, physical copies of this game. So you can get either collection for twenty dollars, but physical copies of this game are only. 
both, and it's forty dollars. Okay. You can't get them separate. There we go. I beat that guy. Well, I want to see what weapon I got. I like that they included the option to stretch the screen out, but I don't think I would play Mega Man completely filled out, filling out the screen. No. Yeah. There we go. Look at you. You got... Sonic. In real. Great localization. All right. Let's see if there's a uh, different options out here. Doesn't look like it. What are these? Oh, okay, little achievements here. Okay, that's cool. <clears throat> In a, uh, if we go back for manuals, that show like the original manual for the game, or oh, no, just as good. Uh, all right, X three. The last of the Super Nintendo... I don't even know if this was a Super Nintendo joint. 95. But the last of the straight-up 2D pixely Mega Man's... 21XX. What's the deal with Reploids and Mavericks? Uh, sounds like the start of a stand-up routine, so I'm not gonna go ahead and interrupt you. Go ahead and continue, Dan. Mavericks, you know, they're just... Sorry, I didn't want to talk over this intro of the game. I'll save yeah, my stand-up bit. Sure, I'm really gonna... I'll, don't worry, I'll remind you of it later. Okay, yeah, when we go back to the main menu. That's pretty cool. That's also pretty cool. Damn, these guys are such bros. This one does have a really cool moment, actually, this intro level. Also, last game, I think that features passwords for Mega Man. All the other ones I have saves on, and we'll be able to see beyond the first level. So, Jan, you uh, expressed some interest in some of these X games when I was, I'll say, I wouldn't say shitting on the later ones, <laughs> but Maybe pointing out that I didn't enjoy them as much. Oh, here we go. I'll ask you after this. Okay. Hey, buddy, what's up? What's going on? Oh, wow. no. Didn't even say anything to you. You're a friend of trust me, X. I'm now a member of Doppler's army. Fuck you, Mac. You will make a fine addition to our forces once. You have been shown the true destiny of the Reploid race. Uh-oh, this looks like the end for Mega Man. And that's Mega Man X3. Or is it? You're fucking zero now. Holy smokes. Check it out. Yeah, I don't know, I thought it was cool. I like, because you, ne you never got to play a zero in those other ones. Right. Oh, he's got a sword. If I'm remembering this correctly, I think Dr. Wily made zero. And you're giving me sure. a very vigorous nod in yes. agreement, so I'm right. Uh, my understanding of the lore pretty much ends with the classic Mega Man's, like, Proto Man. What happened to Proto Man? Is he around for these? Is he in any of these? Or did he die with normal Mega Man? Is normal Mega Man not Mega Man X? I want to say no. Oh, I fucked that guy up. Wow. Oh yeah, I guess I should free Mega Man. No, he's fine. Almost All right, there. any second now? All right. There, there we go. go. Jinx. All right, you can talk again. Okay, yeah. thank you. Uh, my favorite thing about all the Mega Man games is uh, just jumping through those gates and being stuck in the jumping pose like yeah. that. Yeah, T-pose, the original T-posing. Yes. I want somebody to sample this. We were talking a couple weeks ago how uh, 
hip hop is severely lacking in their sampling of video games. Yeah. And there's a whole trove of, of bangers that could be made. Yeah, because that's the thing. Like, oh, it's like, okay, I recognize this, you know, this sample is from whatever. Like, there's a lot of popular music. Right. Or popular video game music has been covered, but there's so much, so much left to be discovered and sampled. It's Mega Man X3. It's like X2, but uh, different. You can play a zero sometimes. I almost wonder now if people Oops. don't sample video game move music more because it's a hard harder to get the samples cleared. Yeah. And harder to find like the original composer for some of this stuff. Oh, oh yeah. Looks like shit. Sounds nice. Are we on the PS1 now? I believe so. Ooh. Yeah. There's more anime in this. Actually, we're gonna get a really good opening cutscene here. Uh, when I start the game. So this is where they started to get a... I do like that you straight up get to pick between the two. In this game. All right, I'm just gonna let this rock. He is my nemesis. Our rivalry is what gets me motivation in life. Now go. Destroy him. That's an order. What? Wait! <laughs> Dude, what's go- Whoa. Emergency, all Maverick Hunters on call should assemble immediately. Same dream. Again. All Hunters on call should assemble immediately. Thank God he doesn't make that noise when he actually runs. This looks like a good fighting game. Like his model there? Yeah. That's definitely gotta be a Mugen model. Most likely. All right, so this is the first game where you can just straight up not have a buster. Uh, I think they give him one in later games. I believe that's correct. I remember playing through the X Games and whenever I chose Zero, Obviously, it'd be a lot harder because you don't have a ranged weapon. Yeah. I just thought he was cooler. He is. Okay, cool. Because I was concerned that was a, uh, like, oh, hey, I'm a kid, and, like, the other guy looks super cool. I mean, he's got a sword. Do you think that ponytail's functional at all, or just for style? What would the function of it be? Uh, gathering solar power. Like, it's, it's fiber optics or something. <laughs> all right. Uh, no. Oh, okay. I don't think that. Oh. I'm low on health here, I gotta be careful. I forgot how much stuff winds up popping up on the screen. Yeah, it's a little bit of an eyesore. Dragon! Have you any honor? So yeah, these, an issue I have with these games is they really tried to pump up the story. Okay. And you get a lot of, just like, uh-huh, okay, you're giving me not really anything interesting here, but I have to sit through your monologue. Oh, that was scary.
Oh fuck. Oh! I'm okay. Oh. Man, Zero sounds real jazz to be just moving. He's like the opposite of Garfield. Almost everything is the opposite of Garfield, really. Uh, what about Heathcliff? Eh, yeah, kinda. Uh, hello. Do you remember which one of these Zero dies in? And there's that really, like, graphic scene of Zero getting cut in half or something? It's either four or five, I think. Uh, I... Ooh, I remember this warning thing. Oh, yeah. I, obviously, he comes back. He's in later Zero games, but... Can't say I'm up to date on my Mega Man lore, especially the uh, X Universe. Whatever, man. You're of anyone here. You're probably the most versed in the X lore. You knew Axel's name. It's one of those random things that is stored in your head. Right. You can't necessarily pull from it at will, but if it's there, yeah. It, no. It's see. It's like when you go into your computer and you're looking for a specific file and you start typing. Look at this guy. It's a kernel. Uh, you start typing a file name that you're thinking of, and then all this other stuff pops up. It's like that. Colonel is bad. All right, all righty. Um, this game is also unique in that it is the first one that uh, has kind of like a hub menu world. Where you can... Oh, here, hold on. We got some more cuts. Brave soldiers of Repliforce. We have all been wrongfully judged as mavericks by the humans. We cannot suffer this indignity and live in disgrace. We will build our own nation of Reploids. But remember, this is neither accent? about insurrection nor rebellion against our human creators. I don't, I don't know. This is about our liberty and security. We must battle for our own individual He sounds too nice. And yeah, he sounds Canadian, survival. I was going to say. Together, we will build our nation. The way he says or? Yeah. Reploids, our own utopia. Let utopia. Let us forge onward towards a new golden era for the Repliforce. Yeah! Or like, uh, like a Minnesota. I too share the general sentiment. Take heed, we have no other choice. Let us fight valiantly. It is my first day as a voice actor. Without I'm fear, very excited about this job. The most powerful army in history! Yeah! There's like five people that sounded jazz there. <laughs> Very excited hey, about the news. Hey. You're all free now! <laughs> the general has finally taken action. And now, my maverick hunters, what will you do? It must be really hard to be a spy if you're a reploid because your feet just make that. <laughs> hey guys! <laughs> What's going on? Do you hear that? All right. Blah, 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 blah. Jungle. Cyberspace. Air Force. Volcano. Marine Base. Bio Laboratory. That one was harder to read. Military train! Snowbase. Oh, maybe I'm thinking of five being the first one with the hub thing. Okay. Cool. Well, um, so there's also featured in both of these, this here, the X challenge, but uh, I'm gonna get to that in two because that's where I've made most of my progress. Okay. And they appear to be identical between the two. Got it. So, um, um, so Jason, I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to X two. Oh, it's, we're not. Nor, is, we're on a quick look. What? But we they can see us. I thought we were just hanging out talking about Mega Man. All right, Jason. Put my face away. Happy birthday, Mega Man. Mega Man X. All right, Mega Man X through X6. Uh, Wait, there's, what are you talking about? There's I mean, more. X through X8. Okay. X5 through X8, third time's the charm. Uh, all right, let's just, let's just keep going, man. All right. X5 I do like quite a bit. Uh, 
This is the first one with a sort of kind of, you know, while, but before or between choosing missions, you get to equip a bunch of stuff and there's people to rescue in every level and they give you power ups. I don't remember this guy at all. We lose the voice acting, but we get. What's your name? Dynamo. Dynamo. Jinx. Well, you're leading this quick look, Ben, so you have to talk. Okay, uh, so yeah, you can. Uh, you got these things here, uh, you can equip. Uh, basically, you're trying to get this. So you have 15 hours till collision, and each time you hop into a level, an hour goes by. Uh, okay. And you're trying to get stuff for the Enigma Cannon, and that's gonna stop the thing that's crashing. Um, you also have, you know, you can, as you play, you unlock more and more weapons and stuff. Sure. I wonder what happens if I just try and do my Enigma shot. What do you think those uh, green bubbles or jewels on their chests? Uh, that's where he holds his key. Okay. Wait, did I just... Oh no. 62% is a lot. Yeah. Oh, cool. This is just gonna... Okay, so it's the same thing. Okay, I thought you jumped. Yeah, I thought I was gonna just go play through the last levels right now. Oh, okay. So the bosses on the left had stuff for the cannon, and I guess the bosses on the right are going to have stuff for the um, shuttle. Okay. I should also mention the, the other, in the earlier X Games, uh, the bosses with the Guns N' Roses names have unfortunately been changed back to their Japanese counterparts. Uh, which is a little bit of a bummer. So in your head, what makes the later X Games not as good as the original, or uh, first couple ones? Uh, I just like the simplicity of, I feel like in those games it's about mastering your character, his move, Mega Man's character, his movement, like the the level design is all very innovative. You know, it's just like, oh, this one's gonna be like the floating platform thing. Um, and you're getting new powers, but you're not necessarily getting like game-breaking power-ups, okay. which I feel like you sometimes get in these games. Uh, also much lighter in the exposition. Yeah, not really about like fucking saving the world and getting a bunch of anime cutscenes. Look, I like anime as much as the next guy on this website, but I don't need it in everything. Yeah, you like anime just as much as Matt Rory does. That can't be true. You think Matt Rory's ever watched anime? Rob. Oh, wow. Instant kill. I, spikes. Look out for spikes. I'm gonna see what Rookie Hunter mode does here. If it's more than just, I'm gonna take less damage. How did your spikes still kill me? Nope. Wow. Oh, and I killed that guy in one hit. Cool of them to put this in. Here, let's see what happens. Oh, man. That is a game changer. Yeah, that... I, I really do like, appreciate the Rookie Hunter mode. It makes... That would have crushed you. Yeah, that would have killed me. I would have died like six times already. I'd love to help, buddy, but you're over there, I'm over here. 
I guess I can help. All right, yellow Mega Man. They give you a little bit of health. Sometimes they'll give you a power up. Yeah, like this, good. in the middle of the level. I don't need that. Yeah. Yeah, it's cool. Ricky Mode uh, does that. This blew my mind the first time I saw this. Now it's just like very hard to look at. Whoa, are we uh, in an MC Escher painting now? But uh, the real shitty Mega Man games start with seven, X7, which we will get to. I mean, like, what even is this? I can't hit these guys. How am I supposed to? It's a very weird security system. Yeah, it seems kind of flawed. Just make four of those purple ones. Or maybe lower them sooner. Can I hop on top of it? Oh. That's how I dodge. Oh yeah, you can also do this. Rookie mode. When I heard this was announced, I was, was uh, kind of bummed that the uh, Mega Man Zero games weren't included, but it would have been a lot to yeah. throw into a package. It would be nice if there was some sort of handheld collection that maybe had a couple of the Zero games, a couple of Battle Network games. Which is probably coming in the future. Yeah. I mean, they're out of proper Mega Man games to do. Maybe throw Mega Man Soccer on that bad boy just because. I know it was a Super Nintendo game, but... Why not? Why not? Okay. If you have some kind of weapon, like, yeah, you know I have a weapon. Yeah, I really don't remember them stopping the action as much just to tell you something super minor. <laughs> I hate these fucking Sigma heads. Hey, did you know Sigma's the bad guy for Mega Man X? Uh, no, who's that? I don't know. Tell me everything you know about Sigma. Um, well, we went to the same college, so there weren't that many frats. But I saw the Sigma symbol once at SF State. Yeah, over there by the, like, by the Becca and Humanities area. Yep. Go Gators. Are you uh, familiar with the hilarious story of why SF State is, are Gators? Yeah, my counselor at community college told me and then I would ask people at the actual school if they knew and nobody did. <laughs> Go ahead and tell it though. Uh, it was a typo on the school newspaper where SF State was originally supposed to be the Golden Gate as in the Golden Gate Bridge. Mm -hmm. Due to a typo, uh, someone had put gators, like the animal, and uh, lo and behold, no one bothered to change it. Did you know they, at one point, for like several years, had a alligator for, that they'd like chain up at football games? That sounds safe. As a mascot, it was just like on a big chain. That's gotta be intimidating to the other team. Yeah, I believe they eventually had to uh, roll that one back. It's bossing shit. Yeah, you're rinsing through this. Holy guy. Cow. wow! Rookie hunter mode. That would have taken at least another five minutes and several retries. Yeah, I would have died several times. S-A. That's very good, I assume. Super awesome. That's what S-A means. God, just tell me what weapon I got. Sit. Okay, I got the F laser. Not nearly as dramatic as the other you got. Maybe six. Oh, we're so close. So close. 
Look at Mega Man X being super edgy. He's holding the sword now. Whoa. Oh, maybe this is the one where Zero dies. You see, uh, he's kind of like a ghost in the background. Yeah. Oh, I like the uh, film effect they had going on there. Three weeks ago. I love Erasure. This is what happened in Mega Man X 6, 5. But although... But although... Yeah, he's still here. Oh, no, he died and already. Okay. That pulled on my heartstrings. Yeah, it's very emotional. Uh, let's turn it off. Hunter. Let me check something. Okay. Okay, no, you cannot change controls. Oh. Oh. Uh, this kind of follows up on, on what 5 did with the, you know, menus here. Uh, you've got all sorts of things here that you can equip. Uh, I don't know quite how it works yet. I haven't unlocked enough of them. Uh, you've got people you can rescue. Gives you kind of a list of who to rescue and when. Um, you got any requests? Uh, what's the... Yeah, that one. I already did this one. Okay. Uh, person with a mustache. Yeah, let's visit the museum. Uh, so you can play as X or Falcon, uh, which is an armor set for right. X. Yep, everyone's favorite, Ground Scaravich. Oh, this is the one with all the fucking teleporters. Oh, what? Yeah, yeah. check it out. Look at that. Don't need zero anymore. I don't know what these... Oh, here we go. Someone's texting you. These guys are fuckers. They're in every level, and they will possess these guys if you let them. And they turn into, like, evil... Uh... Rephloids. No, fuck off! Fuck off! I saved him. Get me out! Ugh. What the f- that Dude, totem what? Pole. That totem pole fucked you up. If I had a nickel. Oh, cool, I get to do that part again. I'm glad to see museums still exist in the future, even though they're this brutish hell. Why is that rock still rolling? I hate this. I just wanted to make it through and play a video game. Don't worry, Ben, you only have two more X games to show off. And they're the best two. Oh, fuck off. All right, I believe that should be a checkpoint.
You excited for Mega Man 11? Oh, okay, it's not. Uh, yeah, I saw some of that at E3 and it looked pretty neat. I remember seeing the trailer and it was like mildly interested, but I'm extremely interested in what we're about to take a look at. This is Mega Man 7. This is one of the worst video games I've ever played. What? This has the introduction of the franchise's most popular hero outside of Mega Man, Axel. <laughs> More anime. Mega Man X7. I almost want to play the. F I'm going to play it from the start because I'm not sure if we'll get to see how shitty this game is if I hop into a level and it happens to be good. Uh, I had never played this for myself before now. All right, this is Axel. Whoa, look at this guy. He's cool, he's got a gun and auto lock on. That's um, useful, right? Yeah. Uh, he can also do this. Um, you can shoot diagonally. Uh, well, you can't aim diagonally, oh. but you can lock on to diagonal things. I tried to... It's cool because I don't even have to try and hit my enemies. And this is all fine and dandy, but uh, what if Whoa. we got to play like this? Single stick shooter. I believe this was on the PS2, the started Mega Man X7, right? I believe that. I remember being really bummed out when this game came out. Why? Because I was, I really liked Mega Man X. Oh, wow. I couldn't even see if it was hitting me because of the perspective. Um, I really liked the Mega Man X games. You know, the last couple ones we just looked at. Very heavy on the text, but uh, still wound up liking them. Yeah, they're okay. Yeah. They're honestly f okay. Right. Especially because that period in games, those types of games weren't as common anymore. That's right. Um, and then uh, I saw screenshots for this and was really disappointed. All right. I gotta wait for it to turn red and then shoot it. This is exciting. I did it. I'm very good at video games. And then if you were having if you weren't having fun with Axel. Tell me I'm through with the worst of it. Don't wait, worry. wait, let's let's hear him talk some more. So this is unskippable. Whoa! I can't believe I'm back here again. What the heck has happened? They really made a mess. Nobody with hair with nobody with a hair like that has a voice that deep. Do you think? That specific line was just in reference to Mega Man X7 onwards. Yes. And that he couldn't believe they brought him back to the series. For sure. Oh, I just wanted to retire. Maybe be in a Marvel versus game or something, but man. I thought I'd earned my own game where I was a little younger and we collected elves and crap. I hate his jump attack in this too, because like normally you get that nice somersault yeah. thing. The sword doesn't look as cool here, too. Nothing looks as cool here, Jan. Nothing. 
Oh, you got a pro strat here. Hey, remember this guy from X1? Yep. Capcom also remembers. Have you ever wanted to look, see what it looks like in first person, though? First person, no. Oh, this is the first level, huh? So you uh, doing anything this weekend? Um, it's that uh, California Extremes in town. Yeah. Might check it out. Oh, great. All right, here we go. Behind the back. First person sword combat. Or third person, I guess, but you know what I mean. I do. I mean third person. It's fine. Zero and company, they're, they're not humans. It's true. Wow. Whoa. Oh. Looks like a shitty jack-o'-lantern. I feel if these third person segments of the level were, were controlled better or similar to an actual third person adventure game, it'd uh, be cooler. I don't think that's the case here. All right, I've played as that one nerd and now zero. Wait a second. Who's left? Connected to this incident. Incident? What are you talking about? Oh, here it comes. So I'll be seeing ya. Great dialogue. What's going on? Dude. I don't know, Zero. <laughs> yeah. You're asking the right questions to the wrong people. An auto scroll? I don't. Has that ever been in a Mega Man game? Yeah, right. I'm sure of it. Cool. That didn't even hit you. No. You've got some explaining to do. <laughs> Lucy! You've got some explaining to do! Yeah, if I were to, you know, take a look at sitcoms and who their analogous would be in Lucy video games, Ricky Lucy Ricardo? Totally zero. Yeah. Who's, um, who would Laverne and Shirley be? Um, the ice climbers. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, I didn't think you'd be able to get it so perfectly. Whoa, you just hit that back of that guy. Whoa. That boss's life bar is a pretty good texture. It's not muddy at all. So I can kind of switch out here. Whoa. I remember seeing you play through this yesterday and being confused what that last attack was that the boss did. Mm -hmm. I still don't know what he was trying to do there. Uh, yeah. He didn't really have a plan going in. Much like the developers of Mega Man X7. Uh, I'm just gonna hop into a random stage here. Okay. Also, it, double, it asks you if you're sure on everything. With, and it defaults to no. So you can't even like mash your way through menus. Oh, that's fun. Ooh, that guy looks mad. Oh, really? You're gonna just really, ugh. Ooh, Cyberfield. If you were a Maverick or a Reploid boss, 
and uh, Mega Man or Zero were to defeat you, what power would they gain from you? Hmm. The power to lie down for a really long time. It's probably useful in some of these boss battles. Yeah, you duck under the hitboxes. Right. It'd be strong against, like, uh, uh, some guy on stilts or something. Definitely. How about you? Um, to be super blind if I lose my glasses. <laughs> that doesn't immediately seem beneficial. Uh -huh. But I bet there'd be a boss level <laughs> where <laughs> there'd be hidden platforms that you couldn't see unless you didn't have your glasses. Ooh, yeah. Like the Maui heads from Mario. Yes. So you get to, oh my god. Yeah, thank you. Oh, uh-huh. Okay, yep. Thank you, I think I can figure this out. Oh, you get to pick your squad? Yeah, you get to pick a squad. Wow, that's a shitty looking character model. Is he in Smash now? Is that what they just told us? Snipe Anteater joins the battle. Oh, so it's just gonna start like this, huh? I wish Battle Network was good. Or, I mean, on here. Which version of 3 did you play? Whoa. There's a uh, white and white? blue. Whichever one was the better one. There was one that was, like, canonically better. Were it they? Was blue. Because it, it had to do with, like, how the Japanese releases came out. I don't know. Okay, I've had about enough of Mega Man X7. I just wanted to see kind of what we were working with here. So you can switch between the characters at any moment in these levels? Uh, yeah. You just hit, oh god. My controls are inverted. Hey, it's Doug. I'm gonna help Doug. It's a great name for a... Uh... Reploid. Are you shitting me oh. that this level's hook is inverted controls? Mega Man X8! It's the last of the straight up Mega Man games on here. We're also gonna take a look at that Maverick Hunter mode. Do you know who that is on the left? Is that Poison? I don't think there's a character named Poison. Well, that girl is poison. What badass. Yeah, they brought Axel back for this one, and who's excited? Uh, no one is raising their hand. Okay, I guess it didn't save. Mega Man X8. This one's better than seven, I will say. Okay. Um, I did have to play it on easy to get through the first zone. We're back to full anime. The endless Reploid rebellions continue. Humans, however, have begun migrations to the moon, thanks to new technology. Is that a space elevator? This plan is called the Jacob Project. Yeah. Very I fucking love names. orbital elevators. Highly advanced new generation Reploids have been brought to the moon's surface to work. Okay. Shoot some robots. Warning. Noah's uh, Ark. X, this, new this game, I believe, does not have any behind-the-back third-person. Okay. And this feels, just playing it, more like Mega Man. I was about to comment that this seems much faster and snappier than X7 looked. Yeah. I feel like they definitely heard people's feedback on that one. Because I wanted to make sure it wasn't just a me being weird about it thing, and yes, that game was very negatively reviewed. This game, not a lot better, but definitely better. Okay. So I'd say, you know, if you had to, if you only had 20 bucks, maybe only buy the first collection. And in fact, if you had 40 bucks, maybe only buy the first collection.
Yeah, I thought it was interesting that they chose to do two separate collections, but after seeing all this, I understand why. Oh. Wait, that's how you say her name? Elia? Elia? I thought it was Elia. Uh, this all, this does a cool thing where not only do you pick your team, two out of the three uh, Maverick Hunters, but you also pick a guide. Okay. Um, and the guide, there's three guides, one who will tell you like secrets about the boss you're fighting, one that will give you secret routes throughout a level, and one that's kind of like a, a blend of both, but not as good as either. So I like that. I, li I like that. I like more customization in these games. Um. Yeah, the the Mega Man X Zero franchise definitely took elements of a uh, customization of your playstyle. Yeah, that one r ramped it up though with the fairies and all that. Ooh, that looks like an area I can go. You see that stuff up there? Oh yeah. How do I get that? Some goodies in there. How to get... Whatever. Yeah, his sword still looks weird. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, so let's, uh, double attack! Uh-huh. That was cool. That was, that was very effective. Why isn't it working? I think I'm on Maverick Hunter and Easy, which means look at the damage I'm taking. <laughs> what are the little guys with helmets called again? Sir, oh, uh, their name is like Rowdy Roddy or something. That's a sports entertainer. I didn't say Piper. You're right. Careful Carl. Brutus Beefcake. Gorilla Monsoon. I think that one's it. Yeah, that's it. No, that's one of the bosses in next two. Oh, okay. Go for it. Kept you waiting, huh? It's a law that the first Mega Man level of a game has to have these guys. Metor? Metar? Is that what those guys are called? If you're telling me that's what Google says. All right. I thought it was something cute, like with an alliteration, but shows what I know. Hey, remember this thing you already fought? Mm-hmm. Holy moly. All right, last but not least, well, let's, let's look and see uh, the museum stuff's the same. Yep. But you know, for- Let's, uh, let, can we watch the trailer for X7? I'm curious. Yeah. Oh, it's like a demo derby. Uh, here we go. That's cool that you get to see it in full screen. Uh huh. I love that. Okay. My favorite part of Mega Man is traditional 2D action. 
Wow. Oh. Isn't that a Kingdom Hearts game? It's probably like the fifth one in the series. I can't believe they just gave him a gun. Oh, well, Mega Man already has something that's way cooler than a gun. And then Zero has a sword. Yeah. Well, I'm pretty sure Axel is supposed to be similar to, um... Shadow? No. <laughs> but both have guns. Uh, base? Oh, sure. From, uh, Mega Man? but not as cool. Yeah. Wow. Nope. No, I want to go back. B is back. All right. So you've taunted me enough. I want to see what this X challenge is. Yeah, let's, let's get into it. This is probably the coolest thing about this whole collection. Um... Whoa. So, uh... What you get here, so you'll see on the top, uh, you start out here. But... What you do is... Uh, you get to select three weapons. Okay. That's why I'm gonna just... Grab some here. Cause I don't... See, this is a problem. I don't really know what these guys do. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm sure if I played through the game, I would, I would have a better idea. Uh, and it shows you what bosses you're going to fight. It shows you clearly here, I'm going to fight, okay, Storm Eagle and Storm Owl, and then those two guys, and then those two guys. Sure. Oops. And then, you hop in. Uh, everything I've seen so far, it's been... 2D kind of Mega Man X style uh, Mega Man. And you fucking fight these guys two at once. Whoa! So it's a boss rush mode, but with two of them at the same time. Yeah, that's their big innov innovation is, hey, what if we took boss rush and you had to fight two of them at the same time? And it's actually pretty fun uh, because, you know, Especially for these early Mega Man X games, I kind of had some of the boss patterns memorized. They weren't really super challenging. But now you have to, you have a whole new thing. So like this guy's just fucking blowing me off. Uh, which is fine when you want it. Right. But here, I have to deal with this guy also. Yeah, that other guy's touching you with his feet. Yeah. Which also is fine when you want it. Exactly. But unsolicited. Uh, and so I happen to pick Hero a weapon that is strong against one of these guys. Okay. You can see it draining his health. Uh, I think it's the smaller, fatter bird. The Ebert bird, not the Roper bird. The Ebert, not Robert. Mm -hmm. So after you defeat these two bosses, you would immediately go into... That's right. And your health would carry over and everything. Uh, I'm not sure about health, I forget, uh, but weapon ammo for sure. Oh, okay, wow. Um, and I did this first time with no problem. As far as stages, it, does it say stay the same? No, it, it's one of these two characters, it's one of the two stages from the boss. Oh, okay. So like this one is one of these guys' stages. Um, I also might be tripping, but I think one of these guys... No, I was gonna say it's not from the X series, but that can't be true. I think the taller bird was from X. Uh, E-bird was from X4. So can you only play as uh, Mega Man? Yep. Oh, okay. Uh, at least so far, I'm only on stage two. Okay. Because it is very challenging. Oh, shit. Um, and I saw you 
just had a only a small or not a small group, but a uh, only a couple choices of power ups. Yeah, there was like a random assortment of several power ups. Not doing anything. Yep. What's this? Fuck. Uh, yeah. So I mean. It's cool because let's uh let's back out here. Am I able to actually change these? Wow. That's very strange. Oh. I, I can do that here and nowhere else. Uh so you can see here on the top there's a lot yeah. to do here. Uh with three in each chapter, and there look to be like, I don't know, a dozen chapters. I have a feeling you're gonna fight most of the X-Bosses. These leaderboards. Oh boy. You're dominating the charts, I bet. I think it's because my Switch is not online. I can't back out or press any buttons. Do you, do you want to back out and then start the game again? I'd rather just end this quick look. Okay. Jan. Ben. Ugh. Sit up. That's making me an X collection. X, go and give it to you. And at, for forty dollars, though, you have to you have to match his price to sure to put out. Uh, yeah, you know, I I think that first collection is pretty dope. I think X. X2 and X3 are all very good games. Um, I think X4, 5, and 6 are okay. Mm -hmm. 7 and 8 are garbage. I like the inclusion of that uh, rookie hunter mode. Yeah. I think it's, that, a, it's a great entry point. Yeah, if you were like trying to show somebody Mega Man, like let's say a kid or right. you know somebody who doesn't have a gaming background, uh, that might be a good place to start and to share you know, some of your favorite games. Uh, I do wish that the boss rushes things were different on the two different modes, especially if you're buying like the console version where it's packaged into one thing. Sure. Um, it looked like the difference was you maybe fought different bosses in a different order, but the first two were exactly the same. Okay. So I don't know beyond that. Uh, but yeah, it's out now. Uh, it's on all major consoles and yeah, uh, Mega Man. He's fucking still, he's, he's 30 back, now. Baby. He's 30, he needs the money, help him.